Hey everybody, welcome back. We're in Saint Denis. A lot of stuff we need to do here. Uh, but first of all, somebody, who's in here? What is this? Somebody needs our help. We still have that execution that we're waiting on. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exquisite. What the heck? Is this? One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. <laughs> there. Oh, wonderful. Hey. Algen and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh, no. I'll How pass. about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course. Too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? Oh, yeah, that's I more me. I always wear one. Definitely. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. Uh-oh. And what is it you do, <laughs> Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from I mean, heaven. yeah, basically. Sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. I'm sure it will be. Egret plumes, reddish egret plumes, snowy egret plumes, and lady of the night orchid. Well, that's going to be a bit of work. Oh, look. Look who it is. The professor. I imagine. Ah, uh, this is the execution. Okay. Okay, boy. This way, buddy, you're gonna want to see this. Well, look, everyone's here. Don't go too far. This is gonna be bizarre. Easy there, friend. You're going to be in a better place. Jeez, this is going to be bad. Breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this friend's existence. Oh no. In incredible. He's nearly dead. So humane. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, this is so bad. May have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. They smell the burning flesh. Oh, he got himself. Oh, I did not see that coming. Whoa. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. You don't I say. Think it's mighty fine. Holy frick. Careful, lady. Oh, help. Help. To make you lose oh my god. I need help. Oh, dude. The professor. <laughs> oh, well, I better see what he's got on him. Is anyone looking at me? Well, Two bucks. Oh, he's got the blueprints. Like that. What? That's cool. Well, we knew that it wasn't going to go smoothly. Didn't know they would end up killing him. That's crazy. Well, I guess that's what you get. Boy. All right, we're going to go see who this other stranger is in this area. And then we'll go and see Trelawney. And finally rendezvous with Dutch. Hold on, what's going on back here? What the hell are they running? Oh, hello. That's how a lawman solves a problem. What'd you do here? Now that's what I call a good day's work. I'm doing it. Who saw that? We gotta figure this out, so stay short. What are you doing with that there, Scott? Nothing. Yep. Damn it. That's all man. Damn it. That went well. Jeez! No, please. Whoa! Holy shit! Maybe not. There he is. Damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Catch me if you can. Are you serious? Oh shit. I hope you're wearing the mask. Someone help, please! Guys, it'd be great if you didn't tattle on me here. I'm stuck in here.
You keep your mouth shut. Everywhere. <laughs> Jesus. You best get a move on. You're too, too close. Holy hell. He's right there. Wow. Well, that's a bit of a situation. Frick. That got out of control fast. Thankfully. We can handle this down the road. A horse will catch up. Small detour, never hurt anybody. Why is it with you? Why is this locked? Maybe he's just busy. Be with you momentarily. Liberty is worth every penny. Nabe is service. Uh, no, we're good. Thanks. Good day to you. All right, now let's get to work. Easy now, partner. I felt like maybe I could take down that police officer in the back alley, but, uh... You know how it is. You know how it is. They get a little antsy. They don't like that very much. We managed to elude them. It's good training. We still got it. Hi. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. Yeah. Are these the, uh... The party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Are these the guys so, from the party Mr. that... Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Yeah, see? Well, uh, to be clear, <laughs> he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen. Yeah, Rain's sorry, Fall and Eagle the Flies? Train, crossing the river at Cumberland Falls, and at the party you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we... I remember them, too. ...are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and... ...punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger... And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. 
I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. I'm in. <laughs> Let's go. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head mm. over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. I don't like that he's making me meet with the son because I don't. Hello? The son's obviously not into this idea. So. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting. I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Huh. Meet Eagle flies near Cornwall kerosene and tar. And we have no idea where that is exactly. I guess it'll just come up at some point. All right. Well, let's check with Trelawney then. Let's go, boy. Don't mind me. Where the hell is he? Fine night of debauchery. I like the sounds of this. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Again? What? Well, you can't play at the tables on Alana has Oh, River cool. Okay, this is like going to be the poker yeah. thing. Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. I like new clothes. Let's go. Hello, can I help you? Find three piece town suit yes, from the tailor. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous. The Whitmore? You can see the aristocrat in his profile. I guess that's the only one that we have. The heavy brow. A very good choice, sir. Thanks. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. What? I'm not changing anything. I'll get a trim, but that's it. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. How am I going and to be guaranteed that going I win? To think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in 
and you take huh. whatever you want. Okay. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> no, don't be so jaded. This is gonna be we cool. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Don't make, don't pick my hairstyle for me. I'll be so disappointed. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? All right. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Ooh, well, clean shaven. Good, oh, no, oh, I don't think I could do good. it. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Uh, we're going to keep our facial hair the way that it is. We could just do a trim. Or we could change it. We could change it up, maybe. Let's see what else we got going Make on. Make him look like a prince, sir. I actually don't mind the left part. Left part fade. Let's do this one. Left parted. Well, Paul made that. What is the new styles that we haven't seen? Hold on. The Picador, Verdi. Oh, the Brigadier is actually kind of cool. Presidential, very Abe. The Spartan. <laughs> I like it. Done. And we'll keep the length. This is good. This is good. There. Very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. Okay then. I've arranged some transportation. Buenas. How are you, Keith? Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Thank you. Good luck with the barbershop George, business. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? Coach, this is how we everyone's getting there. Twenty up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man, money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards are? Yeah, exactly. He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Gee, he's got everybody in on it. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. <laughs> we'll make sure you get the right cards. Well, wow. what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. We're screwed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Okay, then. There they are. Gentlemen, 
How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Oh yeah, for the first time. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Bobby A cleaned up. Hello, gentlemen. Well done. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I don't got any guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. <laughs> These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. I even get my chips. Strauss knows the hands will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Feel free to join a game, sir. I'm on Are it. you joining us? Yes, I am. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Don't worry Look about me. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint He says already. no. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Wait. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. <laughs> not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> queen 10 7. Oh, he's got three queens. Hello, my ladies. Yikes. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. This guy's gonna be yes, pissed yes. Time to see when I own you're him. Really, the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an Call him to go man. bust. For my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. Now we got you the know, ladies. I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Oh, he raised big time. I'll, uh, raise. All that. All right, see what you got. Uh, it could be bad for us okay, if he's Mr. got Callahan, straight. Yeah. I'm all in. That's what I'm thinking. He says yes. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. What's he got? Oh, he's got a pair of jacks. Shit. All right. Shit. Easy enough. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Oh, Set your he can't handle that. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. What's it worth? Look at you. An ex... Expensive one, real fine. Swiss, a Reutlinger no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. All okay. right. I trust you. Now play, as you wish. 
So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Well, of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Double Kings. Let's not waste any more time here. All what? in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Ooh, good sign. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Unless the dealer like screws Very up. Very good. Pair of aces. Not good enough. Shit. Shit. Uh oh. He yes, did screw up. You little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh. God wow. damn you. Didn't see that coming. No offense. None taken. Well played. That's sir. dirty. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Is Javier coming? Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> Jeez. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own. Look at the decor on the wall. Right here. Very good. So you have a gun. That's great. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. <laughs> well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Oh, that was... Oh, I see. Okay. Don't reach for that gun. Take I didn't gun realize it was him. With us. I thought he was at the bar for some reason. you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> oh, this is going to be big. Idiot, huh? Whoa. He had two guns. Oh, for sure they heard that. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. You sure there's nothing else? Sure. I reckon we've only got a few. If we're lucky. Yeah, I guess we have to go. There's nothing. It's highlighted, but I can't grab it. So. Are you coming? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that guy didn't hear the gunshot. How do I get down here? Is that a good shot? It sounded like one. Come on. How do I? Oh, what the frick is happening? <laughs> is that a good shot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Might be swimming. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. <laughs> anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. 
A no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Oh, well, this guy is don't he be knows. a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. What the? Dude. I save. There's no way out of here. What's our next move here? Come on, let's get the hell out. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to You don't know. Arthur, come on. We gotta go. Oh my god. What are you doing back there? Come on. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. We are swimming. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Super smooth operation, boys. No mistakes at all. Well done. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Well done, boys. There we go. It's decent. It's decent. 35 seconds, 5 headshots, without taking health items. Well, we didn't take health items, but whatever. Win the game without his help. Fair enough. So what else is going on here? We have a stranger here. Oh, we had now have uh, Eagle Fly's location up by Citadel Rock. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll uh, we'll meet with the stranger and then Dutch and then Eagle Rock, I think. Mm -hmm. 